My name is Roselena Arteaga and I work with Better Women Support Services. I have been working in the, in the anti-violence work field for over 15 years. Uh, I want to share with you that it takes an enormous amount of courage for a woman to expose the violence that she is experiencing in her relationship. And for a woman to call the police as the last resort, uh, usually women want the abuse to stop the violence to stop, but they don't want the relationship to stop for many reasons. And some of the reasons can be keeping the family together, being ostracized from their own communities, uh, having children who can be affected by this. Um, in our work, uh, we, have been, we have seen an increase of women arrest. And uh, for the last three years, we start gathering several cases. Uh, up to today we have around 30 cases and we decided to analyze these cases. In a lot of the cases the partner was the one who called the police and uh, at the time that the police came to the place uh, the woman uh, was not allowed to provide her side of the story. Lots of cases were uh, was not provided with an interpreter. Lots of cases were this person, the perpetrator actually, he did self-harm and then he accused her of being the one who did the harm to him. Um, in all these cases, the criminal justice system saw her just as a perpetrator and they didn't analyze the history of abuse, dynamics of violence, who has the power in the relationship. So in our experience working within the criminal justice system, when we have had a crown who is assigned to work with us and with these specific cases, uh, the woman has been able to speak her truth, to share the evidence about what was the reality, what happened in that moment. So in those cases, uh, the charges were dropped. But unfortunately, this has been exceptions. Um, we have many cases where the woman is seen as the perpetrator. She's not able to expose how she ended in that situation. And then uh, she carries that towards family court when she has to deal with custody and access. Um, we, as anti-violence women's organizations, really uh, think that there has to be a closer collaboration between government and uh, support workers, anti-violence workers, frontline workers, women's organizations, to ensure that the justice reform initiative creates a structure that ensures better outcomes for women who experience violence. Thank you.